I'm just starting to realize right now how shiny this head is. I've also decided to trim my beard, and honestly, it's, it's perhaps one of the biggest mistakes I've made. I've made in a long time. Every time I try to do it, I hate it afterwards. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about The Witcher 3. Man, I have had so many comments about this game here on the channel. I honestly, I don't think I've ever had so many comments about a game. I feel like I'm being attacked by a mob, to be honest. And I don't mind it. It just shows me that you guys, you guys enjoy the game. And uh, I wasn't really going to talk about it. But to be honest, when I first started this game, I said... I didn't know if it was going to be an official series. I just kept making videos because it was it was enjoyable and there really wasn't a whole lot, right? But somewhere along the road, towards the end of December, I lost my file. And I was so frustrated, I was fed up with it. And then I got COVID. I believe then sometime in January this month, I, I had to go somewhere to an undisclosed location. And uh, I've just been really busy, man. And I had to replay so much. I didn't lose everything completely, but I, I lost almost everything I had played. And I got to the point where I just, I was fighting for dear life, trying to get everything back. Eventually, somehow, which I still don't know how, I managed to find the file. Till this day, I think it was probably an issue with the cloud saving of the game files i'm sorry i've kept you guys waiting for a long time um i've even read comments of people saying like i'm doing it for the money i'm gonna be honest listen clearly i, I have kids I, i've got a family i gotta feed my family so i can't just be a grown adult here and play video games and i get paid and you know pretend like nothing's happening you know my whole family's burning down and a portion of it a big portion of it is clearly support system for my family which i've always told you guys i'm extremely grateful for but i have rejected so many offers you you have no idea how many offers i've rejected of opportunities and video games and interviews of things that just didn't align with my schedule or things that I just did not want to do. Don't ever think that I am just like this money hungry individual that does everything for money. You guys have seen me do video games here on the channel. They get like 20,000 views. Okay, look at the Final Fantasy series that I did. That thing was getting once upon a time 15,000 views. I just hope you guys don't see me like that because believe it or not, that kind of hurts. Not even gonna lie because I don't know let's just be happy we're all here we're alive we're relaxing we're chilling and we're gonna watch some gameplay i still don't know if i'm gonna finish this game it's gonna get crazy over the next couple of months and i'll post this game whenever i get a chance you're probably gonna hate me for this but there is no face cam in this video i've just been enjoying it man i'm, I'm just enjoying myself be engaged within the game the face cam's not going anywhere you're always going to get to see me when the horror games come out, all that stuff, walkthroughs. It's just right now, I'm just trying to enjoy these games, okay? So we are back in the world of The Witcher 3. It's been about a week since our last episode, and we finally get to hopefully conclude the story of The Baron. So family matters. Tell the Baron what you've learned about Anna. I honestly don't think he's going to believe me. But, uh, hey, let's take a crack at it. I am going to have to kind of familiarize myself with the controls. And uh, it might be a little bit uh, daunting for you guys to bear that. But just please bear with me, okay? This game is so massive in so many aspects that uh, it can oftentimes be overwhelming. But nothing can take away the beauty of this universe. As a matter of fact, it's so beautiful, I'm not even taking my horse. I'm running there. And just like that, we're here. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fast. What can I say? I've been working out lately. Hmm. 
Alright, here we go. Let's see if how he how he takes this news. Hopefully we don't have to fight this guy again. Because if we do, this time I'm gonna kill him. He's a good guy. I think. Actually, no, never mind. He's a punk. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Hmm. All right, let's go through all of the... Okay, we already spoke about these, right? Yeah. I know where your wife is. Got news of your wife. Plowing hell. Why did you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Well, I'm going to be honest with you, pal. You kind of are, okay, at fault, okay? I'm just saying, if not, she wouldn't have ran away. Actually, that's exactly what I think. The world might seem black and white to you witches, but for us common folk, it's shades of grey. As is my family's story. Not interested in your family. <laughs> I'm not interested in your <laughs> That is pretty messed up. So tell me how it was with you. Now, let me, let, I want to find out. Probably going to say you're not the only one to blame. All right, then. I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie. It was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. So you mean to tell me he was wounded, she cleaned his wounds? And then, hey, girl, you want to marry me or what? I'm the Baron. Interesting. Life is not that easy for us folk nowadays. So your fault after all. What happened then? Still seems like your fault to me. <laughs> Will you let me finish? <laughs> oh, what a dork. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. Oh, for nearly no. three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a oh, no. childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. You whore! Understand, damn it! <gasps> one tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of her mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. Wow, man. Kind of feel bad How'd for you. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things, too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. <gasps> That she'd left me for that knob licker and taken Tamara with her. No. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. <laughs> I went to find the bugger. 
to get the girls back, bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Okay, this is getting a little dark for me. You're kind of lucky I'm a witcher. I'm kind of used to all this, but man. I mean, let me just say I feel for him. He got cheated on. But that doesn't mean you should be beating her up, man. You know, just move on. I mean, you're you're a big deal here. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. Hmm. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life and mine several times. She would prod me goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologised. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years, but we did. Now, as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. Wow. That's pretty dark. They're at the point basically where it just seems like they've been in a really toxic relationship for a long time. So it seems you deserve each each other. You're at fault. I can't say I care at all. But, uh, that much of damn. That's cold. Um, damn, bro. Uh, I mean, he shouldn't have killed the dude, bro. Got only yourself to blame, I think. Leaving her to fend for herself. How was I not to? I was a soldier. I had no choice. There's always a choice. Ah, sod it all. I see all my prattlings for naught. You won't bring Anna home, I know that. Will you betray to me how she landed in that bloody swamp? Oh, wow, level eight. Three points available. Your wife is with the crones as their servant. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> what crones? Ones who live in Crookback Bog. I've heard folks speak of them and thought it naught but tales to scare the children with. How on earth did she land there? They fled by night. They were riding past the forest when a beast serving the crones attacked them and abducted Anna. A beast? Bloody hell. And Tamara? Was she hurt? No. Oh, thank the gods for that. So, Annie, what happened to her? The creature carried her deep into Crookback Bog. Didn't harm her, though. In fact, Anna seems content there. Content? What is this tripe, Witcher? What in bloody blazes is she doing in that swamp? Hmm. I wonder if she really is content or if she's under some sort of spell. She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A 
pacts with witches. Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Okay, so now it's all coming back to me. It's been a little while, so I had forgotten exactly what happened in detail, but... Hmm. Do what you want. I wouldn't recommend venturing into the swamp. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently, and I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not, but I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked off his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. We had a deal. Time you fulfill your end. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. He landed right in front of us. I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the forces. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we were. Now, what the heck was that? Okay, hold on. Oh my goodness gracious. What was the lock on the uh, button here? It's stuck! What? Oh my goodness! Come here! You think you just come here? Huh? And mess up my life? Whoa! Oh my goodness gracious. I love her move, man. This move is like just absolutely incredible. And that looks like an oversized chicken with wings. That's exactly what it is. It's like a cock. Or a rooster. Or what whatever. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. This is past tense, so he's not dead. I completely forgot for a second this was past tense. I was about to say, man, this man just died. Oh my Damn goodness! It. I can't leave him like that. And we probably should leave him. He's a bastard. Get to the tube of the uh, to the top of the tower and rescue the Baron. Okay, how do I how do I get there? Um. What? Excuse me. Okay, maybe maybe not through here. This is embarrassing. I'm sorry. Apparently, not only have I lost the skills to play in this game, but I've also lost my common sense. All right, it's got to be through here. Ah! What is going on right now? It's like super buggy. Well, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, take that, you chicken. There's, there's just no way right now. She just, she just not, she did not just pop off like that. She had no damn right popping off like that. Take that, you stupid rooster. That was pretty incredible. I don't know, Geralt. You might have a little bit of a challenge in your hands here.
Wow. I like these flashbacks, man. Like the telling of the story. Really cool. You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. Or even, it's why I must go. I certainly hope not. It's brought me no small trouble. Meaning? I must flee. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. Wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. You? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. And I'm just hoping we eventually regroup with her, man. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. I'd see we get past the uh, Redanian blockade. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Siri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanian's mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Who was the letter to? No one. It was like this one. Show that to those pricks at the crossing and they'll let you pass. This for me? See no reason to make things harder for you. You seek your child, this letter will help. How did you get these letters? Where'd you get these letters? I haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. All right. Thanks for the intel, pal. I wish you the best of luck. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her. Bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. Oh my. No more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Oh God. You know what? Let's do it, bro. I, I'm going to... I'm, I'm gonna back you up. Why not? We're pals. Kicked your ass a couple while ago, you know? Let's do it. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is that? <laughs> Mind explaining, dude? What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as Arnold's shit. Hmm. Uma? Strange name. Aye, strange. But he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him. He sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a toe up his nose. So I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damned foolish look and stammered, Ooh, Uma? And it stuck. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. 
<laughs> what is wrong with this man? Oh God! Funny story. How so? Went to Novigrad once to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horses blind. One fellow. The merchants took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Hmm. Proper baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Though I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Never run into anything like him. No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. Hmm. Man, I don't know. I'm conflicted with this man. I don't know if I like him or I just despise him. I like the character. And let's not forget, this has been like a massively long quest, and it's like one of the... I, well, I don't know how many quests we have in this region, but one of the many quests. And it's it's taken us like two or three episodes to, to finish this. We could have finished it already, which we did. Return to Crookback Bog. Okay. So what does it say? Visit Triss in her horse. Hmm. Man, this this is so smack. Yo, did you just blow a fart? Uh huh. Mike went insane, or did? Man, I had to kick your ass. I think it was right over here. Maybe I can sell Quartermaster. Let's see. Show me what you got. Okay, so this is the shop. Yeah, I can definitely sell all this. Sell some of these things I don't really need. Alright, sweet. Sell this. Go ahead and sell that as well. Guy knows I need the space. Sell that. Eight armor. I'll sell the eight armor. Keep the ten. And uh, what is this? No guardian armor. Saddlebags allow you to carry more weight. Hey man, that sounds enticing. Three hundred and twenty. That's almost everything I've got. I'm probably gonna... I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. So now that I've got that saddle, do I get more inventory, like, just in general? Or just for the horse? Or Ah, there we go. Horse blinders. Look, man. I feel really bad for Roach. A horse equipped with the blinders won't panic as easily. I had all these amazing things and I was depriving him of it. Or her. I think you guys said it was a female. Sweet. And I need better armor, to be honest. This is kind of embarrassing. Like, my sword is cool and all, but, uh... Yeah. Let's go over here and speak to this gentleman over here. The Fergus. Mr. Fergus. Hold me up. Hmm, looking for a master armor. 
Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been at it 20 years now. Master the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately, snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? <laughs> <laughs> Strong and light would you just fine, could it? Sounds great. Can you make a suit like that? No, but find someone who can and I'll gladly meet them. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch use on Undvik. Joanna, I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Undvik for his armor. Said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. Oh, wow. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. All right, well, that's something to look into. Master Armors. If I were to track that, get Blacksmith's tools from the Unvic. If I were to go to the map, where is that exactly? Right, we'd have to fast travel to a completely different place. Let's go back to the quest here. Yeah, that's level, <laughs> that's a level 24. Absolutely not. All right. So here we are. Why the devil are they witch hunters here to start with? They didn't ride from Novigrad to hang two blobtits, did they? I, I, I don't know, my lord. They say where they were headed. Geralt! Good, you've arrived. Can't draw any meaning from this rabble's boring. Perhaps they talk some sense after a few lashes. Well, spit it out. Where'd they go? to the village in the swamp, Lord. Lass rode with him, asking after her mother, Constant. Lass? We must go there at once, Geralt. We should be able to do this, right? Agreed. I'll gather my men. With the swamp to cross and our cursed crowns to hunt down. All right. Actually, it's not that far. I don't think we need Roach for this. But. We'll take him just in case. We'll take her. Pox ridden air promotes brain rot in the peasants. And there's so much, like, trees and grass in this game. It's, it's almost hard to believe how old the game is. It's, like, super rich with life everywhere. It's just crazy. All right, here we go. I guess it's go time. Oh gosh. You know, actually, I didn't repair my uh my sword and whatnot. Hopefully, we're fine. Oh my god! You might just be headed one of them. Amazing. Will you stop? All right, guys, I might need to meditate real quick. I haven't seen that many all at once in a while. We should grab some brains here. No business tricks in about. Managed the one time, but who the hell knows what we'll find deeper in. That fear talking through you. Hey, do you guys mind if I meditate real quick? Can we do that? <laughs> it's such a hack, dude. All right, boys, let's move on. 
Oh, what the heck? What in the world? All right, we're back at it. Anybody here? Come on. Whoa. Oh no, the water hag. Not the water hag. Oh, she just spit at me. All right, one of you guys gotta help me out, okay? I can't take out both of them. There's had too much hooch turns into that. The next time Disgusting. you give a woman booze, don't. <laughs> Better up drinking it down yourself. All right, here we go again. <laughs> yeah, you got, you just got to do that. Why would I not do that? That'd be silly of me. Right, we're going to keep going here. We move deeper into the forest. Oh, there's a bunch of them now. Thankfully, that fire, like, my spells do not affect my companions, my allies. Excuse me, coming through. I got this. I got this. Get out the way. Get out the way. Okay. Apparently, these guys don't want me to fight. See, I told you I had this. It wasn't even that bad. One of my swords is banged up. Let me go here to the inventory. Never mind. Witcher, change your mind. How Never much did mind. my father pay you? Don't think you have anything to fear. <gasps> oh. Brought your new friends with you. I have no fear, for the eternal fire protects me. <laughs> Won't need to protect you from me. Tamara. Oh dear my god. Daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father. I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come tell her. Baron wants to find his wife. Your business. I won't meddle. We'd better find Anna. Your father, he wants to find his wife, your mother. Really. He pay you much to be his yes man. Excuse Verily me? I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tomorrow, you stand with their kind. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father, and I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> Whoa. I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village. Man, I wonder what happened to her. Clearly, we're about to find out, but... Hmm. This is kind of suspicious. <laughs> Uh-oh. Bro, did they kill her? Don't. Oh my god. Oh, they found her. Go on, whip me. 
I made it too little. I bought it, but just to see if it's burned. Bro, she's going insane. So take pity. Oh, mother. Take pity. What in the world? But I played it. I begged. Mother, it's me. Do you recognize me? What, what's happened to her? I said I'd do it all. Give it here. I'll scrub it again. Scrub it clean. Yeah, I knew Mother. she was under some sort of spell, man. Something's coming. Get ready. What was that? Wolves? Uh, that didn't sound. Hold on. Can we pause for a sec, please? Um, yeah, let's pause. So, Journeyman's Weapon Repair Kit. I'm gonna need to use this on this. And now we're back. We're good. Because it wasn't. Get ready. Okay, the anticipation is killing me right now. Oh, oh, you guys came for back, I'm back for more? No problem. Oh, are those the witches? Are they back? Oh, what the hell? Yeah, tick tack. Stick the water hang. Oh, damn, look at us go with the combos. All right, somebody's sucking something back there. I do not approve. Let me see. I need to do magic trap. Protective shield deals fire damage. I'll do the telekinesis blast. That seems like fun. Man, I feel like the swords do the the weapons do more damage if they're in better condition or. <laughs> oh damn! Hey, I don't know if we can do a finishing move like that. Game just froze. That's not good. We got these dirty hags all over again. Yes, get her, get her. Come on, girl. We can do this. Oh, man, we just chopped her off again. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to take some uh, water as well. Uh, uh, hold on, no. Oh, my goodness. Thunderbolts. There we go. We gotta gear up. Oh my god. I just sent that thing flying. Did you see that? Oh, clearly you did. We're watching the video. Just, really stupid question to ask. Wait, wait. What is that? What the heck is that? Oh my god. What? Oh! Hold on, hold on. Time out. Pause. Pa pa pause for a second here. Nah, bro. What is this nonsense? What is this? No! Come here! Everybody attack! Get me out of here. Oh my god! Okay, hold on, time out. Hell no, hold on, bro. That's right. Damage from afar. Okay, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Oh my gosh. This thing is massive, bro. Who the hell invited Rudolph the reindeer over here? Unbelievable. Hold on, hold on. How about a little bit of fire, huh? <laughs> Come here. Oh, he's twerking. Look at him, he was twerking on the roof. All right, this is BS, bro. Every time this thing hits me. Okay, I'm gonna need you guys to do something here. I'm just gonna hit it from afar. I cannot I cannot afford to die. 
Okay, this is like a legitimate boss, man. This is like harder than most of the bosses we've done. No, not again. Oh my God, one more shot and we're screwed. Let's go. Let's go, boys. No. Ugh. I'm so sorry. So sorry. I don't mean to scream like that. Will you stop? Bro, you're, you're, you're almost dead. Just fall. Just fall. Oh my God. Oh my god. a fiend to me. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches. When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Enough. I'm taking her away. She's my wife. She'll return home with me. You're welcome to come with us if you wish. Don't touch her. We leave this cursed place now. She's sick. Weakened. Where would you take her in this state, Oxenfurt? It would mean her death. I know how to care for my mother. She's not a rag doll to be ripped from hand to hand. Let her decide. Bye. Bye for dinner. Mood bye. She's incapable of deciding anything just now. A dark spell, it must be. Help her, Witcher. I beg you. Before we do anything, we've got to get her out of here. Crones know we've come for her. Might send another monster, something worse than a fiend. I'll not go anywhere until you tell me you can help her. Break the spell. Well, I don't know, man. I mean, I can try, but damn. This is no dark spell, I'm afraid. Well, what is it then? She's been through a lot. Lost a child, was carried off by a fiend, lived in the Crones' village taking care of children who are now gone. It's left its mark, as it would on anyone. So it's hopeless. You can't help her. She's to be like this. I'm sorry. I know a hermit. A very wise man with a gift for healing. Met him some time past. Lives in the Blue Mountains. I shall take her there. Hmm. Might be worth a shot. I shall go with you. That's impossible, sadly. Why? You have duties. Duties deriving from your commitment to the Church of the Eternal Fire. Once we finish our work in Velen, we return to Oxenfurt. You said you'd save my mother. And I kept my word. Your father can care for her now. He care? You know him. You know what he did to her. He swears to be a changed man. And in his eyes, I see true sorrow. Remorse for his sins. He will care for her. And you've a new life and new duties to the eternal fire. No. Fear not. All will be well. Well, that sucks. I will not touch drink. I will find the hermit. And once she is herself again, we will find you. Swear it. You have my word, child. <clears throat> what do you guys think? You think he's a changed man for real? Clearly, for, for those of you that have played the game, you know the answer to that, but I feel like he is. Might slap her up here and there, but ultimately he's a cha <laughs> changed Witchers man. Witchers were made to kill monsters. It doesn't matter who posted the notice. The coin has to be right. That's all. Witchers don't debate. Their conscience plays no part. They just get on with it, then pick up the coin pouch tossed at their feet and set off on their way. Folk don't expect witchers to save them from themselves. Thank you, Witcher. Despite all... May the eternal fire guide and protect you. Farewell. All right. You were right to let your father take you. I'm not so sure. You can do nothing more. Let the Witcher, if she can be helped, only a learned sage will know how. Perhaps you're right. Well, look at that. Not half bad. Men, we've had a hard day. 
The fight was took. Not half bad at all. Well, we still have got another main quest, and that is to visit Triss in her house. I'm gonna go ahead and loot these bodies up because God knows I need me some drowner brain. And I really like when it rains in this game, it's so relaxing. Another longsword. Eh, that's two of them already. It probably sucks. A fiend's eye. A lung, a mutagen. What? Let's go. Well, that was pretty cool. I don't know what half of those things do, but hey, it's okay. I, I think uh, I'd recommend we get the heck out of here. I think it's about time. Yeah. Man, I can't get over how well this game looks. I mean,. I mentioned it earlier, but guys, this game is really old. Well, not really old, but it's old, you know? It's it's just impressive to see these uh these details in such a game. I don't know. It's kind of like... It's a shocker to me. I know it's on PC, and it's kind of like, you know, remastered or whatnot. But man, there's like not, not many places where it's just like kind of plain. Everywhere has something. Grass, trees, something. Which is so impressive. Anyways, I'll shut up now. Let's let's continue. All right, it seems like we're here. Excuse me, gentlemen. Am I allowed through here? Yes. Perfect. Wait, what is it on the mini map? I see something. Sorry, pardon me. You know what? Maybe I should just go on foot from now on. I see something over there. What is that thing? Can I go for a swim? Yeah? What the heck is this? Oh my god, that's a chest. Oh! <gasps> Assassin's trousers? Wait a minute, man. Guys, what is happening right now? I really hope that's really good. I don't I don't know if it sucks or oh my god. Let's go. Go to the surface. Go to the surface. Oh man, what did we just acquire? By the way, take a look at the water here, huh? Man, this is beautiful. <gasps> Sheesh. Oh, there's an elf. Can I kill him? No, actually, never mind. I don't want to be a bad guy. I want to be a good guy. Look at this. The assassin trousers have 17 armor with plus 166 vi vitality. Pfft. Man, now we're rocking out, bro. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, but this one's better, I think. The one that I have? Or no, it's not. Hold up. Oh my god, bro. I'm freaking out right now. I've, I've been dying for better armor and... Bro, let's go, man. It probably sucks, but right now I'm happy, okay? Don't don't kill my vibe, please. I need to get rid of this top. I'm not really liking the vibe right now. I like the pants with the boots and stuff, but this top is uh this top is killing me, man. It's killing the vibe, the swagger. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, they actually burned your life? No, no way. evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire <gasps> in lions burns and cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Special fire for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you. No, dude. Oh my god. Oh my 
goodness. Damn, that was pretty brutal. Sure hope Dudu hasn't met the same fate. Who? Dudu? <laughs> what? Why the stench is entirely different. Bro, I'm, I'm really happy with this game with, with the fast travel points. There's a lot of them. Everywhere you go, you can just unlock them as long as you traverse there. Which, uh, it makes just overall getting from one point to the other much better. There's games where, like, you just have to go manually there. That's... I'm so happy this game has that. I mean, look, we've already got a bunch of fast travel points here. See, one here and then one at the entrance and then over here. Whereas before, we had a zero. Oh, there's a thug here. Hey, shut up. We're looting here. <laughs> hey, get out of here. We're stealing this person, all right? We're robbing him. Who says that? You gotta act cool. Want you gone by the time I count to three? One. Hear you there. Two. Ooh, look, he thinks he can scare us off. Three. Aren't people scared of witchers and stuff like that? Come on, come closer. If they see my eyes, wouldn't they like be scared? Or whatever? Come on, man. Come on, you can do better than that. Oh, that one hurt. Shut up and fight. God darn it. Ow, man. Bro, these guys pack a punch, man. Okay, all right, hold on. You know what I was kidding, guys? I'm just, just. Come on, man. We'll split it. Plenty for everyone. I'm not a thief. Looking for the sorceress who lived here. Most likely, I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. What's up with the veins in my forehead? Is that when you get injured or what? Who's she hiding from? Temple gods cracking down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Hmm. Someone's got to know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Where is the putrid grove? Lovely name. Putrid grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar, or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king, a crown, a scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah. For a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. It's Menger. Temple God. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, but sir, what's the offense? This is some sorcerer's bitchy shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings, and the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. Yeah, that's right. Get out. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. Don't know, uh, don't know much about small animals it's about their hearing that sense of smell that's a, that's a smart remark there okay got nothing to do with their sense of smell it's about their hearing well well man knows his bats <laughs> here I thought you only cared about monsters and as bats sense moths so I sense freaks and start by warning them Novigrad's no place for your kind what is going on with Geralt's face right now? And as bets, okay, uh, I got nothing on me. Who's it for then? Heard Novigrad was no place for mages. Now you're telling me it's no place for witchers. 
So who's it a place for? Righteous folk professing the one true faith in the eternal fire. Nothing I can do to you now. But just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error. You'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. What a douchebag. Alright, wanna play like that? Oh, we got a lot to loot here. So look for the thieves on the main square and carefully follow them. Nice. What else we got here? Anything else? Yes. Oh my god, what the heck is that? The Maritium Ingot. What? The Calvary Trousers. Man, there's just so much things, like, it doesn't matter what you're doing, whether it's looting or... Man, it's just overwhelming, man. This is crazy. Wait, this was even better. The thing is that this one gives me more, uh... This one gave me more vitality. Hmm. This one is still better. And it looks super, super cool. <laughs> oh my god. This has got some pretty good stats though. 50% critical hit damage. Put one of those. Go ahead and put one of those as well. Man, look at that. What? That is cool, dude. That is so cool. Yo. Man, I thought those were panties. Herbs, roots, <laughs> just turned to healing. Sorry, me and my dirty minded thoughts. Hairbrush. Only ever known Triss to use one like this. Hmm. All right, what do we got up here? Did we go upstairs? Oh, by the way, hold on. Go ahead and do that. There we go. Alchemist's powder. Amulets are emanating magic. Gotta be Triss's. She was allergic to potions. Hmm. Salt pepper. What is it? Salt. Salt pepper? Salt pepper? I don't even know what I just picked up there. Steel plates. Another book, perhaps? Witcher signs. Let's go upstairs. Dried fruit here. Not too bad. All of these things could be dismantled and whatnot. Trisses. Never knew how to drop them on the floor. Mm. More steel plates. What is this? The Rose of Remembrance. The Rose of Remembrance. All dried up. What does that do? The Rose of remem Remembrance. What is that? New item. An item needed to complete a quest. Well, that tells me a lot. Thanks. We're following this thief here. Very carefully. He just dropped in here. I don't know what the heck he did. But here's to hoping this works. Just 
just gotta keep an eye on him. That's all. Come on. Easy does it. It does say look for the thieves on the main in, on the main square and carefully follow them. So this guy should guide us there. Approach him a bit faster here. Something unusual. Right around this corner. Where is he going? This is a dead end. Tiberia will be free again one day. Oh. Nosy bugger. Hmm? Yeah, terrible trait. Poking around where I probably shouldn't be, I know. But I gotta find the putrid grove. That's a secret place for secret folk doing secret business. And who's to say you're any good at keeping a secret? Can never be sure. Me got my uh, got my word. Me, you have my word. A freak's bilgy gas, not more. How stupid you think I am? Oh God, you guys. Grab the horse, son. Smash the bugger. You guys really want this? You guys really want these hands? Oh man, you can burn them? I didn't know that. Why would you be able to burn them and then just like not take out your sword? That's hilarious. Man, that's hilarious. Well, the fact that you can burn them, that's awesome. It's like, hey, I'm not going to cut you with my sword, but I'm going to use my spell on you and burn you to death. That's incredible. <laughs> that's awesome. Come on, this guy's almost out. Hold on. Oh my god. Come on, bro. Uh, uh, uh. Will you stop blocking? That's enough of that. I think he's tired. He's tired. He's nervous. Come here. I'm gonna burn you right here. Come on. Come on. That's right. That might kill them all. And I think we're gonna kill him. Stop. Oh, he's alive. Enough. I was just following orders. Got a simple question. You're gonna give me a simple Somebody just answer. got knocked out back there. Where's the putrid grove? In in Lysol's. Down an alley. Man, guarding the gate. Gotta give him the password. What is the password? Old sows. Farrowed piglets. See, just gotta make the effort. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't that bad, guys. Not that bad at all. I knew you had it in ya. I knew you could do it. Alright, so we gotta find the king of beggars. Find him at his hideout. That's exactly where we're going now. Let's head over there and see what's up here. Yo, what up, girl? Damn. Alright, so, see you later. I should I should actually meditate here just a bit. I'm gonna do it during the daytime. I, I, I just man I gotta play all these sorts of games during the daytime unless you know the story does force you to do nighttime. I just enjoy. I, I, I just enjoy the daytime in video games. The nice blue skies and all that nonsense. Here we go. What a knock. Open up. FBI, open up. Doing some sightseeing. Kind of curious about what's beyond this gate. My brother in law was curious. Worms been eating him for five years now. Hmm. Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes, pair of swords, mutated kill everything. 
Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Now the password, get him free. Don't know him. Gotta to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Alright, let's see. Old sow's ferrowed piglets. Ah. Welcome to the Grove, brother. Points available. Four. Man, I got four points available. What am I what what am I doing? Each piece of light armor increases critical hit damage by 25%. Wow. Can I put this over here? Interesting. We can also do a mutagen. Werewolf mutagen. Attack power plus five. Put that right there. Hell yeah. All right, sweet. Honestly, don't know why. I, I mean, I guess vitality plus 100 definitely does help. Inside here, I suppose. About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you're sitting ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Hmm. Atris. Oh. See you two know each other. What up, dear See girl? See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Am I mistaken, or you got something to take up with me? Who knows? Man with two swords and the skill to use them could be very useful these days. Could have sent some underling to fetch me. Could have, but I admit I wanted to see how you'd manage. See if you're as crafty as you are well crafted. See, Witcher, I've got plans. Big plans, far reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. What do you want? You don't stand a chance. What do you want? A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, Folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove, but it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city, because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, <laughs> mine and me friends, but that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone, because I can see, well, you're clearly needed. Gerald, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. <laughs> oh, snap. What about to go down here, Gerald? What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start a new. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Come on, let me give you a taste of my life. 
Like that? Okay. Okay, Tris. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. Is this one of like our girlfriends or whatnot? I know this guy's a player, so I'm just I'm just I assuming. Think you're a on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely. Young woman who's like a daughter to me. Her. Here. No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? She's really nice. It's a state of mind. A stand. Oh, she took she took that really easy. Very nice of her. Oh. Oh. I like her already. So many crazy things happening with NPCs, bro. Like, they're non-stop. They're just constantly doing something. Again, it doesn't matter where you are. It's insane. Oh, God. I probably shouldn't have stole from the poor. I'm sorry. Hello, Clue. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes. Somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! <laughs> a sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to! When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? Hmm. <sighs> Sit back, baby girl. I'll get it. I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The pool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Oh no. Every man's got his sensitive spot. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out he was devilishly ticked. <laughs> <laughs> I played the beat on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn it, went bad. You were lucky this time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. Okay, so should we loot before we leave? Maybe. Why wouldn't we, right? Well. Oh God. I don't want to start getting too heavy here. This time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. The tra uh, good There's thing nothing but junk here, man. Oh, can be paced. Let's go up top. Let's see what we got. It's got to be something. Let's just go. Let's get out of here. I, I don't even understand how they had time to write so many books. and It's just crazy, man. It was truly crazy. I know that's the purpose of this game. It's a looter as well. So, you know. Oh, what? Girl, what, what the heck is your problem? Are you okay? God, of course. 
Oh, nice. It froze. Look at her showing off her skills. Trying to impress me. Well, you have. Okay. There's a draft. Should be an exit here. Clue wouldn't have sent us here if there wasn't. Must be a lever on this wall that'll open a secret path. <gasps> Oh boy, man, look at all this stuff. A lever on the wall, it's gotta be on this pillar here. Free city of Novograd. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin. And winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more coin. That's why they're exterminating mages, confiscating their property and possessions. And they'll go after non-humans next. The elves occupy slums, but the dwarves practically control financial... Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. <laughs> Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. <laughs> you wonder how I look this good for this long? Well, there's your answer, girl. Just swim all day. It's good for your complexion. Let's go down here. Got my Witcher senses activated. I'm not really sensing anything. Oh, never mind. Here we go. I might just be here. Let's go ahead and loot this up. Ooh, Mastercrafted set. Man, so many good items along the way as well. Wow. And here it is. Another sack. Let me get a breath of fresh air real quick. We should be able to swim faster up top, right? Yeah, I think so. Sweet. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a mm. boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on. Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. <laughs> Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Whoa. Whoa. It's getting serious here. My wife's mum's an old succubus. I feel like some of the active. Not, I'm sorry. Some of the Assassin's Creed games. Like Valhalla and stuff like that. I wanted to be kind of like this game. It, it, I don't know. I played this game and it gives me those vibes of like those recent Assassin's Creed RPG games. This was just executed a bit better, but definitely has uh, similar vibes. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Triss, you told this man you're a sorceress? Of course. She was looking for work. That's her chief asset. Are you, Triss? I know it was reckless, but competition's stiff here. No one would hire me if I claimed to be a common rat catcher. More importantly, no one would believe such a beauty could be an exterminator of rodents. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon & Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Hmm. You're a merchant, familiar with how commerce works? Of course. Honest pay for honest work. 
Half up front, half once the job's done. You're asking a great deal. I'm a witcher. Gotta admit, I've met my share of people who say one thing beforehand, another after the fact. Mm. Very well. Your first installment. All right, that worked. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. Oh, fuck. Don't write it now. All right. Place rat traps around the warehouse. Use your witcher senses to guide you. I'll cover half the space. You take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. What do you... Mm -hmm. Bro, there's Bad rats news. right here. I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents... Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Look for crevices and draw things. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. <laughs> Oh, that's what we're doing. We're we're hunting Looks rat like shit. Oh, I don't like that guy. Brandon, I don't either. He's much too fat. <laughs> Can't help but agree. But no, notice how he didn't try to haggle. Must really want the rats out. Triss, you think our job every home makes his living by haggling? All right, get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. So we gotta speak to her after she activates her spell. Man, she's cool, bro. Wow. Okay. Well, now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once, I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temerius King. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? Oh man, I, I sent some sort of romance brewing here. I was worried about seeing you again. Doubted it could be pleasant. We said everything there was to say six months ago. I don't want to go back to that. I'm not going back to it. It's just, it's one thing to say something, it's another to actually do it. We promised to remain friends. I hope nothing will change that. Oh, hell no. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? Hmm. She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. This guy. Oh Garrett, my. those are. I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. <gasps> let's agree your friends were never here. Now pay the rest and let's part in peace. You don't set the terms, mutant. Stay out of it. We're here for the witch. Hmm. We're inseparable, see? Afraid you'll have to take us both. Geralt! If you say so. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. Wow, dude, what a scum. Well, at least he paid up. Ah, right? Oh, 
Look at her go. Let's go, man. That's right. Oh, this sword is so cool. I love how it lights up in purple. Oh, jumped his legs. If not for you, we need to find Brandon. Wow. I guess Geralt was right. I didn't see it. I did not see it. Oh, hello Don't kill there. Me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Whoa. Fine. Your coin. Now get. Thanks, Geralt. You should try to keep better company. He was still better than some mages. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareen Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. <laughs> Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now. Before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits. Near the fish market. Stop by. It'll be nice. Whoa. All right. See you later. <laughs> what type of nice are we talking about? Because based on the facts of this game, it can get a little naughty. All right. So there's that. No big red dreaming. Find the dreamer in the old house. Wow. I like that character, Triss. She was really great, I must say. What is it, Grey Boy? Looking for adventure? Hmm. Hey, wow, man. Look at this, huh? Jeez. This is incredible. It's in here somewhere. Seems like the door might be up top. Right up there. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merits, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareem Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Kareen is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, th they vary. Giggling in the night and furniture moving about in the attic and last week Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor <laughs> what the heck? Somebody's pooping in your house, man Not interested in what's going on inside seeing it for yourself. I'm a banker cursed homes scare me Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact Corinne requested she not be disturbed I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. 
You may enter. Call that my whim. The second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. <laughs> Look at this man questioning my two swords. How dare he? It's gotta be in here, right? I don't ignite that just in case. Just because I can. Oh, this is haunted. Haunted house? Hello? Wire? I'm gonna be a little too heavy pretty soon here. Yeah, that's good. A doll? A steel ingot. A fish. Phosphorus? Man, I don't even know. Wine stone. Dumpling. I think we're good. I'm kind of scared to just keep looting. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Huh. So we've got to go upstairs. Stop. Go away. Don't do that. Leave it. But there's also a basement here, which we can loot. Why not? Oh, what the hell? Why is that purple? What does that mean? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa, hello there. I feel like I'm a little bit ahead of what I'm supposed to be doing here. Yeah, see, we're probably supposed to be coming down here afterwards. I'm almost willing to bet on that, so let's go back upstairs. Just in case. It might be one of those one of those scenarios where we're getting a little bit too ahead of ourselves. Oh, what the heck? What? What the heck is that? This is a haunted house for sure. What the hell? Oh my god. Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. Man, what the heck's going on here, bro? The doll. The attic. All right. Time to check the attic. Stop. Go away. Don't do that. Don't even start right now. Leave it. Hello? Hey. Got a torch? I'm not afraid to use it. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. What are you please. talking about, woman? Let's go over here. All right, the attic. We're headed to the attic. Here we go. Way to the next room is blocked. Hey, bro, this is creepy, man. Salt. Oh my god. Hello? There's so many dumplings in this game. <laughs> Yo. Um, let me guess. Let me just guess. Aha! Uh -huh. Saw that? I am a genius. Pure silver. A drawing of a crib. Oh, that's creepy. Paper on which a crib has been hastily drawn by a child, it seems. Oh, the rag doll, man. That's second floor. Wonder what had happened if I laid a doll in it. That's pretty disturbing. Dark, dark iron ore. Nice.
Put the doll in the crib. Where's the crib here? Excuse me? It's down below. Okay, perfect. Let's get it. Hey, this is creepy, man. Leave it. It's trying to creep me out. I don't appreciate this. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Hold on. It says nearby. Where is the crib? Is it down below? Above. Bro, where the hell is this crib? It was very tiny. All right, you guys got to stop playing this. I did not sign up for no horror game right now, okay? Find out why the doors slammed shut. Oh, that's quite clear. Well, this place is haunted. Duh. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened mm. grate. Oh, joy. A riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there. That's right. Hmm. It's got to be down here. Exactly. Would these be clues? No. Examine the oven. Okay, I got to do the oven first. So many cutscenes, huh? Stop. Boo. Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that What funny? is that thing? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep. And I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. Oh my god, little Sarah's creeped me out, bro. The way you play, well, it's only ever fun for you. That's because you're a dullard. All you humans are dullards. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily. Which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to. I don't. I won't. Let's make a deal. Hmm. Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes. Yes. Yes! Do that, and I promise not to bother your friend, not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. All right, so let's go back to the dreamer. What about this here? Oh, 
Oh shoot, there's a dead end here. Oh well, god. And I was about to skip out on this. Oh, goodness. Wait, hold on. Alright, we got that. Alright, Carol, come on. Don't need to get stuck now. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's creepy, dude. Hey there. <laughs> you finally wake up from that terrible nightmare. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish, but in the dream, well, it was all too real and not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. Why is it that in this game, every woman wants them to, for Geralt to go to where they are, and preferably it's a private room or their house? What is going on here? Got a meter at the golden stir. Okay. That's 171. What is it? Meters? Feet? Probably meters. How do we get out of here? I don't like haunted houses. Alright, dude. Solved your problem. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? Oh, the house is still haunted. Can't seem to, uh, to lift the curse. I know why the house is haunted. Got a godling in your house. Name's Sarah, and she's an ornery little thing. Left her alone, but thought I should tell you about her. I thank you for being candid. Could you rid me of this beast? You can do it yourself. Just burn some burdock in the oven. She's sure to run. Godlings detest the smoke. I will not wage war on a beast, large or small. Piss on the godling, piss on the house. I must merely find a fool willing to buy it. Wow. I thought he was going to kill her. I was going to feel Truth bad. Is, we're already dependent on the black <laughs> All right. Now I feel like a scum ratting out little Sarah. But truth be told, I feel for the man. He paid a pretty penny for the house. He deserves to live there peacefully. And I get tormented. Anyways. Here we go. Look at the sky, man. Wow. Are we going the right way? Was it here? Uh, actually, I think I took the wrong turn here, guys. We were supposed to go this way. And through here. And voila. Excellent. Is it down below? It's above. Oh, wow. Hold on. Above would be... It's got to be some sort of stairs. There we go. Okay. Bro, what is going on? Oh, here we go. Whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, what are we doing? A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions. Try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Mm. Truth is essential in this. 
And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from gotcha. which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. Hmm. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Oh, wow. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this one. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I remember when we first met. I trained her. Saved her life once. She was there when I died. Uh. Hmm. Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Hmm. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Hmm. What happens if we go to yes? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's go. I mean, it's good. We, we get some insight. So why not? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. I don't know if this is going to make a difference, but... It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. I told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? Alright, let's go to the last one. See what's up. I have more to say. Then please do. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. Hmm. Siri is a child of the Elder Blood. They call her the Lady of Space and Time. Hmm. 
She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Volker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Hmm. Sure. Yeah, there's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Jennifer why, she... travels between worlds. <sighs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places. And that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Ciri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Ciri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Hmm. Man, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. Hmm. I wonder if these choices have an effect. Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Trace was. But Ciri never found her. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. swallow at first after that just nightmares at times the dreams can multiply show the past as well as the future the swallow it symbolizes Siri she contacted dandelion I didn't know he was in town the Pope heard about him someone left in the rosemary in time in their will Rosemary and Thyme. Is that an inn? The Rosemary and Thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the Red Light District, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Grad dreaming. Compl what are you doing on? <laughs> what is she doing there? Yes. Uh, uh. Yes. 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 I have a question. Yes. Um. Do you like me? Yes. Am I sexy? Yes. Am I the best you've ever had? Yes. Okay. Thanks. That'll be all.
Yes. 